Hi everyone, I am back. Today I'm going to be doing my brow tutorial. This video has been requested so many times. I've been trying this new technique for my brows and I'm really, really obsessed. I've been doing my brows for over five years and I've tried many different products for my brows and what I'm doing right now is by far the easiest technique I've done. I really hope it helps you out, so let's get started. Alright guys, so before I do begin with this tutorial, I just want to point out the obvious. I know I look so different without brows. I think brows are honestly really important. They can honestly change your face completely, and clearly, I mean, it changes mine because I look so different. Um, it is something that I'm really, really insecure about, but I thought I would do this video for you guys because you guys have really been requesting an eyebrow tutorial, and I hope it really helps you guys out to drawing your brows. I'm first going to begin with the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Brow is in dark brown. So what I do is just brush my little hairs out. So I'm just going to do one brow for you guys first and then I'll do the other one. So what I like to do is just start shading right underneath the brow. And I kind of did over pluck my brows the other day so what I do is just kind of fill in a little bit underneath that and bring it out I usually just stop like right about there some people just like to put an object across their face like this and it kind of tells you where to stop I don't really use it I just kind of just do it I just like to go over it and just make it a little bit darker and the same thing goes um, coming right in the inner part of the brow I just like to stop right about there they also say to put something right there like that and it should stop right about there I don't really do this but if it helps you out go for it now I'm gonna go ahead and start shading from the top so my brows are kind of thin right now so I do like to make them a little bit more thicker. So I'm going to go a little bit, just a little bit above my brow. If you don't have an arch, you can always just create it. Um, but I do have one. And I'm just going to connect it to the bottom. The next thing I do is I use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in dark brown and this is how I fill in the rest of my brows. Now if you don't own this you can always just use an eyeshadow or just you know any other um, brow product you have and fill it in. And the brush that I like to use is this uh, Sigma Small Angled E65 brush. This is not mine by the way this is my sister's and I love it so much. She always lets me borrow it, but I need to get myself one because it works so good. I just start from the outer part and just fill it in. When I do get to the inner part, I just like starting from the bottom and working it upwards slowly. You don't want it to be too intense in the inner corner. And this is a mistake that I would do a lot before. And a lot of you guys would actually tell me. And I don't know how I didn't realize it. I would have my brows super intense from the middle. Now what I do is go from the bottom and also bring it down a little bit like this. And when I'm in the inner corner, I like to... Um, not push so hard. I like to really grab my brush from the very end and do that. So uh, make sure you use a light hand for this. I'm going to go in with my brow wiz and it has this bully at the end and I like to comb out my brows. Not the whole brow but I just like to comb out in the inner corner and what that's going to do is just really give it that nice faded effect in the inner corner. As you can see it's really um, blending it out and then I like to go in here as well 
and blend more. And it is completely normal for some of the product to fall off, as you guys can tell. I'm just going to go back with my angled brush. You don't even have to pick up any more product. and Just use whatever is in the brush. And go back in there and fill in whatever um, possibly came off. Don't go all the way to the inner corner. Just focus right over here. And sometimes what I like to do is just go in with my fingers. If I feel like I went too um, in and I just go in there and fix it. I'm going to clean out my brows with this MAC Studio Finish Concealer. And this is in the color NC15. Um, I don't use this all the time though. I try to only clean out my brows when I just really want them to look extremely perfect. I'm going to be using this Alter Beauty um, tapered or what do you call this? Flat definer brush, I think. And I'm going to clean up my brows a little bit. And I'm just going to clean them out from the bottom right here. If you do want to clean the top of your brow, make sure you use something that's exactly your skin color because if you use um, something the same color as the bottom, it might end up looking a little bit too much. Um, this is something that I would also do before. I used to use this exact concealer um, above the brow and it just makes it look, I think, a little bit too fake. And then what I do is just drag it down a little bit and blend it out. And then I just go with my fingers. Now this step is really not necessary, but it really does make a difference. Um, it really cleans up the brows and makes them stand out a lot more. I'm just gonna go back in with a brush and fix it a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and set it um, with my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel and this is just the clear one. I barely even have brows but believe me they do move around a lot. I'm just going to go ahead and apply this. It is crazy what brows do to your face. I mean, are you guys looking at this right now? I'm going to go ahead and draw this brow in. I will still film this for you guys, but I'm just going to speed it up. So that is how my brows look. Now I know they don't look exactly the same and that is completely normal. They do say eyebrows are sisters, not twins. Alright you guys, so that was it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I know this video has been highly requested and I'm sorry it took me so long but I recently started just doing this technique and I'm really glad that I got to show you guys how I do it because this is by far the easiest technique I've done for my brows and I know it's going to help you out as well. So don't forget to rate and comment down below what you thought about this video. If there's anything that I left behind, comment down below and I'll gladly reply to you. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. It would mean the world to me. And if you are subscribed, thank you so much. I know I've been getting more uh, subscribers lately. I recently hit 20,000 and it really means a lot to me. Um, thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys later with another video. Bye.